Right, next stage is just to pop the bit of the light yellow. That's number 102. It's like a glaze. So we're just going to warm up those areas around here. Just done these bits here, these bits here, these bits here. Very lightly, just as light as that really. Just where I can see that things are getting a bit warmer. See that's warmer there, but that's not white. We'll put some white hairs on the air, on the top just to give it a bit of a, a nice um, uh, hairy look. See, this is all warmer here. Just warm it up a bit. And because that's really dark in the back, it doesn't matter if that goes over there because that's going to be dark anyway. But you just need to keep things clear about what where you're going to put the dark colours on next. You don't want to start confusing the issue and making it more difficult for yourself. So, yeah, just warm that up a bit there. This is all a bit warmer in there, isn't it? See, it's quite dark underneath, but we can, we can actually use the paper a bit there. So now we're going to do the um, the black areas. Well, they are they're kind of grey actually. We're gonna. So this is the black. Can't tell you the number offhand because it's so short as you can see. I've got a new one to start, but it's got a nice point on it this one. And we're just gonna fill in those now that's let's have a little line on there we're going to use the grey paper we're not filling it all over often you'll find um, people that do pet portraits they will fill the whole of the paper in and I just think well you, it's just giving you more work really you don't need to do that to soften it over and you've already got the the different colours, you know, nothing is ever flat um, on an animal. Like it's just, it's just not. This has got quite a nice point on it, and it's kind of a bit of a wedge on it as well. Um, when I do some pencil sharpening, I'll, I'll show you that. It's more of a wedge shape than a point because it's, it's just a bit easier actually to use. And then these marks are coming in. That's got a bit of definition in there. There's a very dark bit there. See, it's coming to the edge of his eye there. Want that in. We'll just do this bit here today and um, this is a good way to do things with pastel because you don't want to be leaning on the work like that and in a way this is so small you don't really need to worry about covering it up much if you work from if you're right-handed you work left across that way or top down uh, uh, whether you're right or left-handed and um, hairs are going that way st straight up it's a bit lighter on the top there it's quite dark in there in blue. Just put a few black ones in there as well. Very light touch. This is a bit firmer here because you know you, you can be there but 
here, you're hardly touching, hardly touching the paper at all. But we've got some nice lines that are going up like that. Um, yeah, that, that works quite well if you, if you lift your hand off. Lift the pencil off at the end and it'll, it'll be lovely and feathery. It's a bit darker in there. Yeah, see, it's not a line, it's just a, a hint of darkness there. Then there is a, there is a bit of darkness going across here. Put that in. That's your, that's your white line there. So you can see, put that in. line, quite a line there, that grey up, that's your dark bit, Leaving that bit off the edge there. It needs a bit of um, yellow in there actually. Just here. See, I've got a little bit of yellow on the end there. That's it. Although you're putting tiny little strokes in, you're not doing every hair. That would be mad. Yeah, so uh, some people do try and do that. Yeah. See, all the time I'm looking at the picture, the whole of time. I suppose the longer you do this, the more experienced you are. Um, and I don't feel ready yet to actually look at a picture and then just do it to, to any great degree. I just, you know, I just like to check. I think you just need to be checking the whole time. Otherwise, it just saves you doing it, you know, not wrong, but it just saves you doing something you'd rather not have and then having to think, oh, I think I'll try and put that the way I wanted it in the first place. It just saves you having to go back over things. Okay, now this is, there are some quite dark streaks in there, so I'm going to put them in, but they will just kind of get blended. They'll just get blended in. And this is dark here. We'll do his eyes after, I think. Just do them after. Then we've got some grey, but I don't think we really need that at this point. But I am going to use the colour shaper here now. Uh, you've got to be a bit careful with this, because if you go over the other colours with this, it will bring the black in, and which is very useful uh, if you want to do that. But sometimes it's... Uh, see, it just builds up on... It is like a paintbrush, really. I like the colour shapers. 
See, they don't, they're not taking all the pastel off the paper like a, a stump does, a paper stump. But there are, there are, what you know, there are times when you might want to take a bit of pastel off and, or, or rub the pastel right into the paper with taking off as well. Then the stump is good. You can use it like, like that as well, like you would a pencil. But you can see just by doing this, it's softening the whole thing up and um, kind of, it is dumbing down the colour a bit, but you can actually put some black bits in if you want to. See, in a way, you're using this and you are covering up the paper that's left, but it will be different than the black you just put in. So you do get two shades. I'm just using here what we've got left on the colour shaper here. That's just that bit there now. Just there. Right, so I'm going to wipe that off now in case I forget to do that. It's always a good policy just to, to wipe the colour shaper off in case you forget and you, you want to do a yellow or white. I like this one. This is the white soft one that I put into the materials list for you. I think this is very, very good for animal fur. And here we just soften up this a bit. See that? See what happened there? That's got blue coat, coat, took the blue, the dark blue in, at the end of it. Just want to soften out those white hairs there a bit, make them look a bit more fluffy. Gonna, actually, we're going to use the grey up here now, just to, because that is that's light grey there. So we'll just use the grey over the white, which will give a light grey. That's got a bit of blue in it, but we'll put the grey on there as well. And I, you know, can you see how lightly I'm doing this? It's it's really really light. That's kind of got a different colour there. A bit more orangey so the, the grey goes up here right on the edge of black there Clean up a bit. but yeah if you had the light grey you just go over, over that with light grey um, but you'd always put the white on first anyway um, because the light grey can even be too strong, whereas this way you are blending it a bit before you, you know before it gets on there. So just uh, softer. See, it doesn't look like you're doing much, but you you really are. And then we'll go over that and just fluff it up a bit with the colour shaper, very gently. Careful not to take the black edge of that again. That's it. That's all. That's all that's needed. There. Now. We've got a nice blue bit in the top there. And it's quite a light blue. So I'm going to put on, what's this one? 140. I'm going to use that in there. Because it's just there. And it's here. That bit here, the top there. 
can see where it's just catching the light there. Just soften it up a bit. And we don't want to really be using the blender again here, I don't think. We'll just, uh, just soften it up with the fingers. Add a bit here. So we're now going to get these bits a bit more warm, I think. Some of these bits are a bit more warmer. So we're going to use the orangey colour now, which is 188. Um, so using this over the top of the, the other colours, without, this, is, this is quite dark in here, so we'll put that in there. Don't worry if it looks a bit orange, it, it, it's, it'll be okay. We'll just blend it in till it's the right colour. Again, extremely light, extremely light strokes. This is a bit gingery around here. This is where the attention to detail of colour, it really helps when you're doing an animal. Because they've got so many colours in. And it's not really possible to put them all in. See how bright that's gone without the yellow underneath it. That's that's the difference. This needs warming up here. See the yellow's underneath it. It's a totally different story there now. doing that you're taking off excess pastel with your finger but not too much you can see a little bit down there what to do I like that a little bit bright that bit okay we'll just now I can see there are some sort of gingery bits going through the white here. So I'm just going to put some streaky bits there. There. We'll blend this in with the black we put on there earlier. We'll put a bit of yellow in there, I think. See, so you're just mixing up the colours as you go. Which is actually quite fun, really. Right, um, we've lost a bit of something going up there. I'm going to put that on with yellow, I think. See this, this line here? We've got one, one, two, that's a greyer line. And then we've got something here which has kind of disappeared. 
appeared a bit there and it's coming down there because uh, it's making it's joining up in a way with this line here That's this, then you've got black, and then this is your light yellow there. Just trying to get the burn kit to So we've got this mustardy colour, which I think we're going to use in there now. Try and get that browny colour there. Yeah, see that's not bad. That's not bad. And here, I'm going to use that over the orange there. To make it more rusty. It's still quite bright though because we didn't put the yellow on top. But let's try put the yellow over the top of it now. And it's dulled it, yeah, look it dulls it down. It's amazing, isn't it? You never stop being amazed by how these pencils work. Fantastic. I've actually used all kinds of pencils. One of the main reasons I chose this set was because the colour choices were good for making other colours and they're really good quality. They're quite hard compared to a lot of pastel pencils, they're quite hard. So they are easy, you know, they're easy to use. Now I can see some little hairs here so I'm going to just pop those in and that's a good colour for them because they're quite muted, quite hard to see. These are going up out here. And then we've got that mustardy colour in there. When you do that, just softens everything over. And we're going to put some just put some of that colour in there because when we put the white hairs over the top they'll really they'll show up nicely okay I'm using some going over the bright yellow putting and put some put some grey in here. Blending that in, and the, the light yellow hairs are coming over that. Yes, I can't see it. It's quite dark still, but the more you like do that, the more it will lighten up. Just check it every time. Just stop when you're happy with it. Just going to add a bit more white in there, I think. little white flecky bits here. I'm going to fill up that space a bit there. So you just kind of give them a feel of it. Not exact by any means. Like so. 
some light, nice light hair stare. this you don't need to go over it again um, I'm going to do a mixture of white and yellow in there Just brighten up little bits of this with a little tiny flex, little teeny, teeny, teeny. Just brighten the next little bit there. Just gives it a bit of highlight. You can see what tiny little bits you can do with a, a, a clump of pencil. It doesn't have to be a very sharp point at all. It's how you use the pencil. I'll leave that there. Okay. Okay, we're just going to leave it there now. And we'll do these bits here next. And then we'll concentrate on his eyes, I think. Hope you're ready to do the eyes. I am, certainly. Right, so we're going to, again with the white, I've done all around these bits here. That's quite a thin bit there, see. We can, we can finalise all that properly a bit later on. This kind of in there. Then we've got very, very nice little lines here. I'm purposely doing them thick rather than too tight, too um, light. See that? You think that was white, but it's it's creamy and you've got a bit of blue in there as well, which will pop in while we're here. That's it, you don't want to go mad. That's all. to put in something a bit, a bit stronger there and we've got blue in 
corner of the eye, but I'll, I'll say 